You may have heard that TV stations are moving to new channels or frequencies because of the FCC Spectrum auction. But what does that mean? Let's start from the ground up. A cell phone tower stands about 200 feet. The Washington Monument, more than twice that at 555 feet. The Eiffel Tower, 984 feet. How about the Empire State Building, a giant at more than 1,400 feet? This broadcast TV tower soars into the clouds at 2,000 feet. See that guy waving on top? Here's where he is. Now that you get the scale, let's talk about what a massive, dangerous, expensive job it will be to move the antennas for nearly a thousand TV stations. This TV tower is a beast. It has five antennas for five different TV stations that are owned by three different companies. There's an FM radio station on here too. The antennas weigh up to 21,000 pounds each. All the stations moving to a lower channel or frequency will need a larger antenna. That means you'll have to beef up the whole tower to handle the weight. Rebuilding a tower means a lot more money and time. Every station has to power down while the antenna change happens. Some stations will have to power down while the structural tower work is being done. And because of this, some radio stations could go off the air for days. So what's the point of all this? It's about the people, the viewers and the listeners and they need their TV and radio stations to be on the air. There's no easy template for this work. It's hard and expensive and dangerous. There are only a handful of companies in America that can do it safely, and there are nearly a thousand stations to be moved. So how can you help? Join us to help spread the word. Changes are coming to local TV stations, and 77 million viewers who watch TV for free using an antenna must rescan their TVs to keep watching. Visit tvanswers.org to learn which stations are moving and when.